Are you insane? You belong in the liar society. You're not as fly as me, the only music head who never, never super. Though I heard, I heard my life, state troopers and feds is off the hook tonight. Tonight, tonight. I take a look the light. Last night we left the club, club. My future. Give bright. me something. Mississippi summer, whoa, white cotton, gold corn, black hunger, what a brother got to do to earn a me, emancipation, propane, still turning the field. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today, there's going to be a pair of wide receivers looking to make big plays on the field. It's the Raiders going up against the Jets. Now, let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 8 matchup. The Jets are back deep, waiting to return the kick. Well, one of the glory teams of the AFC will be kicking the football to start this game. This game is underway. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Smith looking ready to get his offense going. He has not thrown a single interception so far this season. I thought Geno Smith was the most talented quarterback coming out in the 2013 draft. The Jets were lucky to get him in the second round. He can really run, and this guy has a great throwing arm. Looks like they're in press coverage here. We'll go Brown. Tucks all over the ball carrier. The Raiders guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. Second and 12. And Ivory's taking the handoff. It's a gain of six. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so if you keep crowding that line of scrimmage, look out. They'll throw it over the top. The Jets now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. The Jets get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. From the gun. Decker's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. My gosh, the wide receivers in the NFL now, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two and three, and some have four. Good job that time by him hauling in that pass. The Raiders with a nickel look here on defense. First and ten. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. Charging ahead. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, I think early in the game, anytime you cross the 50-yard line, it just gives you confidence that what you're doing is going to work today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that and take it on down into the end zone. Smith's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. And it's spotted away. Here's our look 
at the Jets lineup on offense today. It's been a rather slow motion effort so far on the year as they have a very difficult time advancing the football. Ivory lined up in the backfield. Jeremy Curley with the catch. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. I know it looks easy, but it's not. But a nice throw on the slant route. Slant route means you're slanting towards the inside. Good throw and catch. At the 31, here we go. First down and 10. Marshall's got the catch and the first. How about the way he always locks in and concentrates on the catch? Man, he's got hands like glue. When you shake his hand, he can break yours because that's how strong they are. So not surprised to see him just reach out and just snatch the football out of the air. Ivory, a lone setback this time. And Ivory is handed the football. Allen's there to take him down. And now, here's the Raiders' defense. The strength of this defense has been its ability to stop the run. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Gets the handle here. And it's Curtis Lofton who makes the play. Stacy is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. The Jets at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Third and five. Catch made by Marshall. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. And the flag comes out. Neutral zone infraction, defense. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. What a job by the defense down on the goal line. They were playing run all the way. It was a run. They got the penetration, and they tackled the runner for a loss. Loss of a couple that time. They're trying to confuse the offense here. Look at everybody crowd the line of scrimmage. Jets in for the score. Smith's first pass touchdown of the season. Still three and a half quarters of football to play, but that touchdown gives them the lead here early. Yeah, I know. There's a long way to go. There's no doubt it. But you've got you to like your situation and the feel that your football team has getting that score and being on top. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. Jones going to start his return. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. Cars heading to the huddle. He kept the defense busy last week, throwing five touchdown passes in a very big showing. down at the 26. Murray's brought down after picking up only a yard. And now let's take a look at the Raiders offense. They've shown this season they're not a team that's going to run the ball very much. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. 
The Jets defense now is going to go nickel. Diving grab. They give him the catch. Murray's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. First and ten. Cards off the mark there. Incomplete. The Jets not only brought back Darrell Rivas to the secondary, they also reacquired Antonio Cromartie by way of Arizona, Phil. Well, Cromartie's back with the Jets. He's healthy, ready to go, and he is a great addition to that defensive secondary. Second down and 10. Murray is going to secure the handoff. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. He'll get it again. Murray's tackle right at the 42. Murray's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Hooper's got it, and a first. Gains 20. The slant route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really, I thought, came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Cars going to take the snap from the shotgun. Brings it in. Reese is able to move the chains here as he's tackled down. If you want to stop big pass plays in the NFL, play cover four. But what it doesn't stop is these short passes underneath. The Raiders moving inside the 20 and the red zone last week. They just feasted on that part of the field. They motioned the receiver around to the other side. First and goal. Murray comes down with it. Murray's tackled down after a gain of five. The Raiders on offense here to start the second quarter. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Ready to make the stop on the goal line, loading up that defensive front. The second quarter is underway with this snap. Six for the Raiders. Still early in the second quarter, and they've tied it up with that touchdown. Really good job, Jim, by the offense, finding a way to tie this score up. And now they can put the pressure on the defense to go out there and give them that football once again in good position. The Jets are ready to return the kick. Curley's got it. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Jets offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, in this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. And when you feel you've got the momentum on your side, you've got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right play. Smith's going to avoid the hit by sliding. It's a rough game out here. Avoid hits at all costs. Good job that time by the quarterback sliding before he takes the hit. Smith's lining up in the pistol. The Jets will take the snap from the 30. 
Smith's there to make the tackle. Smith still down, so we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. On the way, third down. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. They'll run it here. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. One quarter in the books, and the defense continues to shine. Yeah, awesome first quarter for both defenses. I like what they're doing on that on their sides they're taking some chances both coordinators had good game plans and we can see they're working so far in this game and this will bounce into the end zone for a touchback let's go now to Danielle Bellini who has an injury update Guys, I just spoke with a Raiders official. All they're saying right now is that it's an upper body injury. But, guys, it's not one that will hold him out much longer. Back to you. Murray's going to take the handoff now. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. Second down. out in the pistol. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Second and nine. Going for the deep ball. Nice pick. No one's going to get him now. The 20, the 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. touchdown partner puts them in front here in the early part of the second quarter yeah it's nice they scored that touchdown the defense has got to be kicking themselves because they did not play well or smart on that scoring drive the Raiders are ready to kick it away and Curley's got it Tackle right at about the 28 yard line. The Jets' offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. The Jets will take the snap from the 30. Strong eye handoff here. The Jets have not had a strong running game this half, at least in the sense of handing the football off. And Ivory's been off the mark, and that's a big reason why they're trailing in this one. That's right. It hasn't worked. So what do you say? Don't be afraid to change. What you have to do, you call the plays. They give your team the best chance to win, and they better start changing those play calls. Marshall's got the grab on the touch pass. That's reception number four for him. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. And why not? He's talented, and every time the football's thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch. This play set up by the long gainer. Playing press coverage to the outside. Smith's going to slide and avoid the hit. It's not as easy as it looks. That quarterback, good job of sliding before he takes the hit that time. The football rests at the 44. Ivory, a lone setback this time. Second and six. And it's knocked down. It's third down coming up. Defense crowd the line of scrimmage. Look out, this could be a blitz. The grab is made by Ivory. It's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. 
Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. Cars heading back onto the field now. What a game he's had so far. Making a lot of things happen out there, Phil. Yeah, he's a good player. We know that. Boy, the offensive coordinator has done a good job highlighting his strengths. And when you do that, you expect success from your quarterback, and that's what they've got. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also... It opens up so many other things for your offense. The Raiders have it at the 29. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. Murray's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. As we come back to the field following the two-minute warning we've got a defense trying to hold strong and not allow this lead to balloon any further they come to the line and it's first down Hold on, baby. Alert. they're Alert. changing Alert. things here the quarterback changing he's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions heaving it down the field is it caught Yes, it is intercepted. The defense is able to take the ball away. That second down coming up. Car set, empty backfield. All right, here we go. Wide and yank. The quarterback wide motions the wide receiver. Zebra, zebra. Cars back in shotgun formation. Intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Jets stalled on their last drive, forced to punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Uh, they got to change the tempo of this game. And Ivory's met at the 16. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up at the 16-yard line. Here they come. The Raiders come out in a dime package. Now first and ten. Back with the sack. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Loss of five on the play. Second and long. Scanning the field. Jason Morrow makes the catch. Games 14. That's another reception, giving him two. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed, and he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. Now looking at third down. Smith's going to take it from the gun. It's Kirby with the reception. The Jets are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Coming to the line at the three. Look out. The defense is showing a blitz here. And Ivory's taking the handoff. Allen's the one who made the big stop. The Jets will take a second here to talk things over as they call the timeout on second down. Second and goal from the four. 
Can they call a play the defense hasn't seen yet to this point today? So it's third go. Touchdown ties it. I can't wait to see what the offense decides to do. Stepping up to the line at the four-yard line. The Raiders with two extra defensive backs in the dime. In his hands, complete touchdown. Heading toward halftime, and the complexion of this game certainly has changed as they've now tied it up with the touchdown. Yeah, you, it, when you're tied up in halftime, you don't know how to look at it sometimes. Are we doing great? Or are we not playing well enough to be winning? So each team, each coach has to go in there at halftime and give his team some new ideas. The Jets now ready to kick the football down the field. Jones going to run this one out. Still powering ahead. So that generous kick return sets up the offense now in good position. Well, a lot of good things happen on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. The Raiders all bunched up here as they get set at the line. He's got the catch. Games 15. The Raiders are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The football sits at the 40. Looking to go up top again on first down. Could have been intercepted. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. The Jets lined up in the nickel. Carr standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. He's hit as he throws it. Third down on the way. Car set, empty backfield. Ready? Ready? Oh, baby. Alert. Alert. And Holmes has got the catch and the first. The Raiders call a timeout and are left now with only one. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. The line of scrimmage, the 25-yard line. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Carr's got it in the gun. Has his target. Martin's in on the tap. A timeout charge to the offensive unit. The defense at this point, trying to keep him out of the end zone. The Jets go with the dime formation here on defense. Second and four. It's intercepted! He's brought to a halt. As we near halftime, the offense has the opportunity to grab the lead heading into the break. Well, I don't like their chances, and really both of these teams has been pretty sorry play so far here in the first half. They both deserve to go in at halftime time. And Williams is all over that offense and brings him down. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. And that's going to do it for the first half, folks. We'll be back to Raiderland for the start of the second half after this. Here at the O.co Coliseum, third quarter about to get underway. Jim Nance, Phil Sims from the broadcast booth above the 50. 
The Jets defense was in the takeaway business the last time on the field with the interception at the end of a long drive. That's what happens when you're an aggressive defense. You just go out there, you keep playing hard, you go for it, and when you get a chance to make a play, they got that chance, and they took advantage of it. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second and two. Here's the handoff. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. The Jets' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line, and they tackle the runner for a loss. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Hooper's got it. First down. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three, in other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle, one right, and one left, well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slant patterns, they're pretty easy against this cover three. Cars completion percentage, 60% on the day. The Jets' defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good right, stuff. Loss of three on the play. The Raiders have it at the 34. Hooper's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. That's five receptions on the day. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. The line of scrimmage, the 48. The Jets defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. First down at the 48. Jones marked down at the 41. Second and three after that last carry. The catch is made by Crabtree. First down at the 32. Reaches out and grabs it. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Just 33 yards to go to the end zone. Carr comes out in the Zebra. pistol. Zebra. You ready? Ready. Alert, baby. Alert. Alert. Second and 11. Over the middle and incomplete that time. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just great. Right, they send the tight end in motion. Midway into the third. He makes the catch. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. Hold on, baby. Alert. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. First down at the 21. There is a flag out. Got the completion. Harris is able to read that play and make the hit. Holding offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. Marching down the field and taking their time. 
The Jets at at the line. Dime package. Reese is split out wide on the left. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. never know with the talent of these guys nowadays little short passes you think they're harmless and look what happens they got so much talent all the way down the field for the score Carr certainly given his team some momentum with that scoring drive he just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards that'll be a touchback and the ball will be placed at the 20. Close game right now, partner, and you look at the matchup at running back, and neither one of them has really been all that effective. No, Jim, they have not been. I'll say this to the running backs, to the coaches, to the offensive line, everybody. Stay patient, stay with the run game, and I think it will work. Ivory lined up in the backfield. First down at the 20. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. Ivory's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Ivory, the lone setback this time. The Jets have it at the 24. And that'll be a gain of about two. The Jets are down on the scoreboard, and this running game is a big reason why. And Ivory's been stopped from the first quarter. Running game has no chance. That's obvious. We've seen it here today. And it's time for this offense to open it up. Quit trying to run the football and throw it down the field. Jeremy Curley with the catch. That's his third catch of the day. The Jets, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got your you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. The give. Smith's all over the ball carrier. The Jets offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play. But what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. The Raiders will come out in the dime. The Jets have it at the 29. Stands in the pocket. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. The Jets have it at the 29. Looking across the middle. Probably should have had that one, but it goes incomplete. Amaro is unable to bring that pass in, Jim. He just took his eyes off the football. And when you do that, it's usually going to result in a drop. And those things happen. It's not a perfect game. You've got to overcome adversity. I think this guy will do it. Next time it comes his way, he'll make the catch. He'll have a chance for a return. And he's going to be tackled right around the 43. The Raiders love this type of play. Of course, everybody would. When you get a good punt return, that's what you want. And, of course, it helps when you have an explosive punt returner back there. The Jets allowed a ton of passing yards on that last drive. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to fault the players. I think the coverages that they used in that drive were wrong. They've got to change up this time to give the players a better chance for having some success. The Raiders take it from the 43. And Richardson's the one who made the big stop. The Raiders running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Zebra. One more snap, and another quarter is in the books. The Raiders have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. And here we have second down. 
car set. Empty backfield. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Catch made. And that's a gain of 10. The Raiders are up right now, and a big reason why is the offense is coming through. On the season, you see the numbers, and they're not great. But today, they certainly have been in the groove. Jim, I'll just say this. Finally, all the hard work is paying off. It's starting to show on the field. Boy, but it has been one frustrating year for this offense. Third and three. Cooper's got the catch on the touch throw. Raiders really got it going now. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? It just gives the offensive coordinator confidence. And, of course, this quarterback, he is always ready to go. Cars now completed four in a row. Double tight end formation. The Raiders take it from the 33. They run the counter play. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. At the 33. All right, here we go. Red, 18, zebra, zebra. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Zebra. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Got the completion. Flyers in on the tackle. The Raiders are having another big passing day. Carr's, of course, been at the head of the attack, and he's played extremely well today. Well, it's not a surprise, is it? Really, this is what we have come to expect of him at quarterback. It seems like every single week is solid. Some weeks are great. That's what we're seeing here today. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First and goal from the 10. Oprah in the end zone. He's caught his seventh touchdown pass of the season. That might have provided them with all the cushion they need to close this one out, Phil. I think it did, Jim. This cushion is so big, if you and I were on the defensive side, I think we'd still be safe. That's how big it's gotten and how dominant a performance this has been by the team today. Fields the football at the three. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Jets heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. First down at the 39. Eric Decker with the reception. Third catch today so far. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. Press coverage all the way. Push them back five yards with the false start penalty. False start offense. Jets will take the snap from the 40. Marshall's got the catch and the first. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. 
The Raiders defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. They're going back up top. Looking at every option. The tackle by Curtis Lofton. Nobody cares. Just get the job done. Throw it deep down the field or throw it short to the running back and look at those extra yards after the short pass. Smith's now completed four in a row. And he heads to the sidelines out of bounds. Look out here. They're going to blitz. They're all packing the line of scrimmage. The Jets from the 32. Two hands on the football and has the catch. That's his first reception today. When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between some linebackers. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. The catch is made by Decker. Decker's met after a gain of eight. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Good job of hurrying up and getting on that football and trying to get the play off. Don't use the timeout here. Good clock management. Snap that football. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. First and goal from the three. He'll throw it over the middle. And that's a touchdown late in this one. Phil, a lot of things have to go their way for them to pull this one off, but they've already accomplished one thing, getting this late touchdown to give them hope. Yeah, that late touchdown does give them, give them hope, Jim. And listen, miracles can't happen. I remember once you actually made two birdies in a row on the golf course. I consider that a miracle, so you never know on the football field. That's a timeout call. The Jets need the ball back, so they're lined up for the onside kick. There's a flag out. I don't think they had any choice. He had to go for the onside kick there. And really, the kick is just not good enough to give his, his teammates a chance for the recovery. And now the game is probably over. Offense. That onside kick did not travel 10 yards. Set up now at the 36. The Jets come out in a dime package. First and 10. Murray's handed the football. The Jets will call for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. The line of scrimmage, the 36. Second and ten. Murray's going to secure the handoff. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. The Jets will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. They'll run it with him again. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The coach is going to go for it. They'll go for it on fourth down. Late stages. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. The Raiders turn the ball over on downs. Well, when you're winning in a tight game in the second half, I don't know about going forward on fourth down. That was a big decision. It could come back to really haunt them. First down, pressure on every snap now. 
The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. The Raiders are coming off a very competitive game last time out. They're going to get him here for a sack. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. I think what you find out about your offensive linemen, what kind of shape they're in. It's, it's late in the game. They have no timeouts. You've got to go to this hurry-up offense. Let's see if they can make it work. Almost intercepted that time. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. Smith is in the shotgun. Davis got it, and a first. That's his first reception today. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Going to the hurry up, under a minute to go here. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. The Raiders with two extra defensive backs in the dime. The Jets take it from the 38. Wants to go deep. Intercepted. They bring him to the turf. The Raiders ready to officially chalk up the victory. The interception has them in a very safe position with very little time left on the clock. Well, they got stars on the defensive side. We've talked about that. They're smart. They did the right things. Their fundamentals were just solid all day long, and it led them to victory. Taking a look at the rush totals, both these defenses have to be happy with those numbers. Yes, Jim, I'm sure they're happy. What they've done, they've made the offense one-dimensional. So when you have an offense that can't run, just think about one thing. And what's that? Go after that quarterback. The Jets go with the dime formation here on defense. No stopping this team. They mount another victory here today to keep the streak going. I think you said it right. There's no stopping him. It's going to be hard to stop him. I don't know how you're going to do it. Everything is going well. Good decisions by the coach, the quarterback, the defense. Everybody's playing well. Look out. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.